Hi, I'm Shelton Webb, the creator of Glycon, and I wanted to give you a really quick update about uh, where we are today. And today is uh, today is January 11th. Uh, we have now support for valve knuckles, and we're going to be fleshing that out in the next uh, next few days. But the valve knuckles now correctly work, and uh, they work great, by the way. I love these things. So. We also support a number of new 3D programs. Uh, we now support Motion Builder, Maya, and um, and Blender out of the box, and uh, we'll be adding support, full support for Cinema 4D and iClone and uh, Unreal Editor 4 very soon. So this is a motion capture platform. Basically, the way it works is this: you see what I've got on here. I've got my hand controllers and my headset, and that's all it takes. And so now I can do all kinds of stuff. I can move around this, the room, or I can just sit here at my chair. Um, I can also create these uh, virtual sets, and it's as easy as you're, it's just easy as sculpting in 3D. Basically, we're just going to create some blocks, and uh, and I'm going to pretend like this is a a super fancy computer system that I'm going to interact with here in a second. And then I switch over here to uh, so I, I could switch if I wanted to. I could switch to seated mode, and then um, Sit down, basically, and, uh, and, and you know, like I'm sitting down, or I can stand up. Uh, I'm going to go to movable, and and that's basically it. Okay, so now I'm going to hop into live mode. I'm going to move just a little bit, update my standing position. Okay, so I want to move this just a little bit. I'm going to put something over here. And imagine that you're doing this uh, in traditional motion capture. And you wanted to match the real world up with your motion capture perfectly. That's actually kind of a daunting task. And here it's it's as easy as well. It's fully automated. So we'll hop into li uh, to live mode, and now I'm going to record my animation. All I have to do is pull the trigger, and doot 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 uh, doot doot, and then bonk bonk. And that's it, right? Okay, so now I did my recording. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm done. So I can hop back in here, I can export this set, and I can export the recording. And when I export the recording, it's gonna create an FBX file that I can take into any 3D program, import it, and using the OBJ file that I export from the set, it'll map perfectly to this, and then I can swap out my high-res uh, high model uh, for this thing and this thing and I can swap out my body for a different body and uh, set and everything else. So I've done all my motion capture and I've got a set that I was interacting with all in one step and that's all there is to it. So you can get this, you can actually be doing this in, I mean, it, you saw how long it took me to put the headset on and fire up the app. You can be recording motion capture for your own animations and games and whatever you want uh, in a matter of minutes. And um, all you have to do is go to liberty3d.com and grab a copy for yourself. Thank you very much. See you guys later.